بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان ٹوریز ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس بیلنس شیٹ رپورٹ وی ول کریٹ سم اسکور کارڈز انکلوڈنگ دا بیلنس شیٹ ڈیٹا کرنٹ ایسڈس فکسڈ ایسڈس لائبلٹیز ریشیوز اینڈ ایکوٹی وی ول کریٹ ٹائم سیریز چارٹس including the total assets in comparison with the previous year, liabilities in comparison with the previous period, equity networking capital and we will add some tables to show the exact comparison of previous data. As you can see here the pie chart also which shows the dimension of monthly data by yearly data and by branch data. And there are some options. You can select any of the variable here to see the data of that variable. If you click on cash, you will see the data of the cash by year, by branch, by month, as you can see here. Let's see how we can create our report like this. This was our last profit and loss report of ABCD company on which we are making the videos. We will update this report. We will go to the balance sheet tab and we don't have data here yet. We will go to edit and we will start now modifying this report. Before we start making this report, I would like to show you the data source which we have created in Google Sheets. This is the data in Google Sheets which we have created earlier. We created earlier till profit column. And today we have created these columns to see the data analysis in Google Data Studio. You can add as much variables as you need. You can add even the owner's current accounts here, investments or drawings of the owners. You can add columns here. You can show them that how much they invest and how much they withdraw. This is depend on your reporting. I did not add it here. I added here the equity column only. So let's see how we can deal with this data. This is the format of the data which we have imported already in our report here, ABCED company report. Before we discuss further, please subscribe to our channel because your subscriptions keeps us motivated to make more videos for you. First of all, we need to change the name. Here, we will add here a name, balance sheet report. We will do the text color change, font 24, bold, or we can increase font to 40, okay. So we have here a title. Let's create a scorecard. Before we go further, I would like to show you the resource data here in Google Data Studio. Manage edit data resource, edit. As you can see here, we have our account receivables here, bank here, cash, current asset, current liabilities, long-term liabilities, and fixed assets, inventory. If you added the new columns, what you need to do here, you need to just refresh the fields. When you refresh the fields, the Google Data Studio will automat automatically get the new fields from Google Sheets. So we already have imported here. So no need to refresh. Even if you refresh the fields, nothing will happen because we have already added the fields. You can see here no field changes were found. OK, continue and done. So let's start today's lecture. We will start from creating a scorecard, drag it down here. 
as you can see here the metric is record count we need to change it to the fixed assets okay and comparison with the previous year apply cool now what we need to do here we need to go to style we need to use compact numbers good labels we need labels background add border shadow the other things are all right okay we will copy the scorecard and we will paste to make another scorecard we will go to data we will change this matrix to current liabilities we will copy the scorecard and paste here we will make here long term liabilities we need to change the style from here because if the liability is increased so the color will be unfavorable to red and decrease will be favorable same we will do for the long term liabilities increase will be red and decrease will be green we will copy this fixed assets and we will create here a scorecard of current assets okay we will copy and paste we will make equity okay and if you would like to make a scorecard of any of these variables you can increase as much as you can we will arrange these scorecards we will go to arrange align vertically to the bottom and arrange align horizontally in center sorry align distribute if we go to view our scores cards are working properly go to edit mode now we will go to create a time series chart to see the total assets as you can see here we have a chart which showing the daily data like we need to change here we need to go to edit click on the chart and date dimension should be copy of date copy of date means this is year and month data so now we have monthly data and we have here fixed assets but we don't have here a variable which is total assets we will make a comparison with previous period okay what we need to do we need to add a field and we need to make here a variable total assets total assets so we need to write here a formula current assets plus fixed assets save and done as you can see here now we have a variable here total assets we will click here and this is a chart for assets we will create a label here assets we need to change the color to green 
18 pixel or 20 pixel bold and it's okay now we need to format this table we will make it bars and the color will be green background color already white add border shadow legends we can show or we can even hide the legends but it is better if you show the legends because you can understand the data inside the inside this chart let's make another chart time series chart for total liabilities we will copy this and paste how we can make liabilities as you can see here in the data we don't have total liabilities what we need to do is add a field and total li a b liabilities it means current liabilities we need to add here a formula current liabilities plus long term liabilities if here is a green tick mark it means the formula is correct we will save here and done okay we need to change the color of this to red or orange and bars color will be orange cool now we need to create control C control V a chart of equity analysis equity go to data and change the metric here to equity this chart we did not change the matrix so we will make it here total liabilities okay so this chart we need to format the color should be this and here the color should be this we will copy this and we will make here networking capital total net working capital we don't have this field here we need to calculate our networking capital as you can see we have already the current assets and current liabilities the formula for the working capital is current assets minus current liabilities we need to add another field we will write here networking capital formula will be current assets minus current liabilities save and done so we will change here networking capital here so cool we need to go to the style and change the color of this to pink cool let's create now a pie chart which will show a lot of data which you need in balance sheet if we click on it we have here networking capital metric 
and as much as we need to add we can add here first of all the dimension the dimension we can make here year month and year branch we want to see the data by year by month and by branch and we need to see here most of like total assets and optional metrics we will add here total liabilities and networking capital long term liabilities fixed as fixed assets already added inventory and current liabilities current assets and equity i think here is equity here you can add as much as variables you want there is no restriction account receivable okay that's all we have so if you go to pie chart if you go to view mode you can see here we have this data related to total assets if we click on total liabilities so this data is according to total liabilities this is now according to inventory and if you click on here you will be having a data for branches by year so this function is very cool you can analyze in one place many things go to edit now we will change the style of this pie chart total assets ascending you can make it and the comparison default date range is this date range okay go to style and we need a single color to look it nice and make a pie like a donut labels will be black in percentage or even if you want the figures labels values it will work but the percentage is i think it's better background color will be transparent it is better legends okay you can increase the font size of the legends and the color i think it's cool go to view mode and that's all this is the pie chart which shows the data of by branch by years and any variable you can select account receivable and so on we are looking for your feedback on this report and if you need any clarification please do comment we will get back to you in our coming lecture we will discuss on assets analysis a dashboard related to assets analysis and liabilities analysis and then we will create a dashboard which will include the ratios analysis and we will create the tables how the tables are working with the comparison of previous data i hope you like today's video please subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to receive our new video notifications thanks